To good morning to you, everybody. I'm John Burnett. Thanks so much for being with us here on PTL this first Friday in June. And not just any Friday. This, of course, is the opening day of the big Dollar Bank Three Rivers Arts Festival presented by the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. Today is the start of 10 straight days of free art, music, and performances all unfolding right outside our door here at Gateway Center. And uh, that's where we happen to find my TV partner, Christine Sorensen, who is with us this morning. Looking very good out there in the outdoors. Christine, good morning. Oh, yes, John. It's a perfect day to start the Three Rivers Arts Festival all sun. I don't even see a cloud in the sky. It's comfortable. And I, this is crazy, I swear. Yesterday, right outside our building here at Gateway Center, there were these umbrellas, but no tents. And then overnight, magically, all these tents appeared, and the festival is ready to open. Look at those fun umbrellas. You can tell something different at the festival this year. And here to tell us all about it is Sarah Aziz, director of the festival. Great to have you. Thanks for starting the festival today. Yeah, thanks for inviting me out to talk about it. Well, you guys always think of something new, and you can't help but miss the umbrella exhibit. Tell us what this is. Yeah, this is Umbrella Sky Project. They're from Portugal. They're from an artist cooperative called Sextaferia Collaborative. And uh, two of the artists came over from Portugal to install our umbrellas here. They've done this installation worldwide. Um, they were inspired by Mary Poppins and they um, just wanted to create some whimsy, some color, some fun to public spaces and I, I think they've accomplished that here at Gateway Center. Yeah, I sat and had lunch under the umbrellas yesterday and it's just so colorful and the shadows are fantastic. But I have to say, I thought you like commissioned this because of the joke about all the rain at the <laughs> festival? No, this this has been done elsewhere? It has been done elsewhere, but when we found it, we thought, this is perfect. I mean, what else could we ask for? And no, but they've been all over Europe. Their most recent installation was in Bahrain, actually. So, um, yeah, we're thrilled to bring them to Pittsburgh. Well, it's really fun, and if it does rain, we know where to go now, so we're good. And then you always got, have some interesting art installations out in Point State Park. Tell me about that this year. We do. This year we brought an uh, artist in from India. Her name is Shiloh Suleiman, and uh, she is installing a work that was commissioned just for uh, Dollar Bank Three Rivers Arts Festival. It's in a geodesic dome that is uh, in Point State Park, so you'll walk through the tunnel, go up the tiny hill to your right, and it's called Tidal. And when you enter, you'll be under a canopy of clouds. So I guess canopies are our theme this year. But the, um, it's a art and technology installation. And the lighting and the clouds um, reflect the tides of our rivers. And then you can interact with a bowl of water, which will change the lighting pattern and sort of create your own storm inside the dome. So... It'll be really fun. Well, it's really wonderful when it's interactive. And of course, one of the most favorite things for interacting is with the artists themselves who are in all of these booths. How many artists will you have and explain how they switch out? Sure. Um, we will have just under 400 artists wow. throughout the 10 days, and they do switch out. We have uh, eight different sessions. So, as I always tell everyone, if you come down and you see something that you love, buy it right then. Don't wait to come back on the weekend with, you know, your partner or someone else. Um, because you'll you know they'll be they'll be gone it'll be oh there was a jeweler here and now there's a painter and um so we do we try to keep it dynamic so when you come down it's never the same artist market and it's totally free that's what's so amazing all of this is free to walk you have all kinds of music too. Tell me about your stage. We do. We have three stages over the course of the 10 days. So uh, two are set up now, and then our weekend stage, the Stanwick Street stage, will uh, install tonight, and it'll be there for both weekends. Um, and yeah, we've got 10 days of great free music and art, thanks um, to Dollar Bank, our title sponsor, and lots of other supporters from um, sponsors and individuals. And because it's not free, we do pay our artists. Yeah. It's not free to uh, to produce, but it is free for everyone. Everyone to come down and we really want everyone to do that and check out the park PGH app and look at our website make sure you know the road closures and the parking availability and ride your bike if you can we've got a bike valet and yeah do that well yes it's free to us but how lucky to have this in Pittsburgh so many great things and let's talk to now one of the most exciting things happening at the festival this year the blue lapis light dance company Sally Jacques thanks for joining us Thank you so much. Okay, so this is an aerial act that's going to come down the Highmark building right behind us. I know the dancers are getting ready. Hopefully we'll get a glimpse of them. Explain to me what this is and, and what they're doing. We're a site-specific dance company, aerial, 
and they're aerial ballets. So we use modern balletic technique and harness technique to create these works. And we have as our mission that they're prayers for the planet. So the act of beauty, you know, moving through what looks like very sensational movements. They're very controlled, athletic patterns of movements that move down the building. So you'll see sequential different areas of the building that we go down. Well, we have video of them rehearsing, so we are looking at what it looks like. I, I, I mean, dance is hard enough, but then to do it hanging and against a wall, what is that like? Well, you're dealing with physics, the pendulum. Um, you're dealing with a harness, and it's a, it's a very virtuoso skill. The dances are incredible. Um, the, what, they make it look easy. It's very challenging and very difficult. Well, you've done it yourself. You founded well, this company. I founded the company. I started actually in nets in an abandoned swimming pool and the fisherman's net and started working with that. And then um, it just kept building from there. I and also did a piece on construction scaffolding. So it was off the ground. Once I was off the ground, it was the body in air sort of simulates nature. So you have this flock of birds going, you know, and you have this flock of dancers suspended flying against the sky with the moon. And it's interactive with nature and it's interactive with architecture. So this is going to, show's going to be at night, right? Yeah, we will have lights and costume. And the moon is right behind us. It was last night. Yeah, we have. Well, I'm looking at up at where the anchors are. How many stories up is that? Do you know? That's uh, 230 feet, but I think they don't count the bottom. I would say it's close to 260, but we've been on 340, 360. Ooh. I'm told it's about 23 floors. How scary is that? Whenever you first go over a building and you're becoming familiar with a building, there's always that place where you look down and go, <laughs> and then, you know, we depend very much on our riggers and the skill of them and the, the safety precautions that they take for all the dancers and then the skill of the dancers who are phenomenal. Well, it's absolutely amazing. I saw them rehearsing today. It's going to be incredible. Thank you, Sally. And Sarah, remind us what time we can see the, the dancers on the building. Yeah, 9 p.m. tonight, and it's about a 30-minute performance. So right after uh, Rebirth Brass Band finishes, head over here and uh, don't miss One it. performance or more? Uh, tonight and tomorrow okay. night. And we really want to thank Highmark. We couldn't have done this without their support, so yeah. thanks to them. I can only imagine what it's like inside the office building. You look out your window, and there's a dancer <laughs> on your window right outside. Side. They're leaving notes for the dancers. In one of them, they wrote on paper, you're awesome, we love you. <laughs> and I want to say one more thing. I want to thank the Cultural Trust um, and Pittsburgh. It's, it's been a really incredible experience. And the organization and the work that they put into this and the hospitality of, of them to us. Thank you for coming from Austin to share this experience with us. And again, Pittsburgh uh, Cultural Trust helping present the Dollar Bank Three Rivers Arts Festival. It's going to be a great time, rain or shine, with our umbrellas here. Come on out starting today. John, back to you. Christine, thank you so much. You look great. The weather looks great. So did the ladies on the building. And we will look for more of that as we go down through the weekend. Stay with us, folks, because coming up, we're going to have more from the Three Rivers Arts Festival with a performance by a talented young singer by the name of Grace Rusnika. She'll perform live for us in our studio as a preview for her show tomorrow at noon at the festival. We heard her warming up a little bit earlier this morning. And trust me, you don't want to miss her singing later this hour. So be sure to stick around for that.